my name is Nicole. I'm a member of the care team here and I'm going to show you the print manager printer utilities. All right, so you want to first open up print manager from your hidden icons here and then go to printer utilities from the list. Or let me go to a printer that's online. All right, so the first most important page is your printer status page is going to let you know your uh, specific ink level percentages and your waste unit percentage. And then it's gonna let you know the status of your printer. If it's ready, it'll say ready. If it's offline, disconnected, it'll say offline. Then it's gonna show you your model number, um, how it's connected. I'm connected ethernet right now, so it's gonna show me an IP address. And then all of this other information, your firmware, your serial number, and how many uh, prints you've got. And you can also add a new printer from this list. You can also restart your spooler things can get caught up if you're sending a lot of prints this is a good thing to restart all right and then after printer status we got nozzle check uh, nozzle checks are really good to check the health of your nozzles if you have any clogs or anything like that like one to two times a week is a good check uh, so you just hit this pink button here and you print it of course you want your nozzle check to look like the image up top but if you have any gaps or missing lines like this right here you wanna go over to the head clean tab, and this is gonna be like a small cleaning over your, your printer's head. So depending on whichever color has the missing nozzles, you can just uncheck you know, whichever color you don't need to send the head clean to. And then you're just gonna press this pink clean button at the bottom. And then it's always good after the head clean is uh, finished, you'll, you'll see it on your printer's LCD screen. You wanna go back to the nozzle check tab and print another nozzle check to see if the head clean has removed any of the gaps. All right, and if you know you're having to do like let's say they say two head cleans and you know two head cleans you're still getting missing nozzles, then that's when you would want to reach out to our care team so we can assist you further and we don't want you to have to waste any of your ink. So just reach out to us. And this nozzle check can be printed on a copy paper, so you don't have to waste your sublimation paper. And then after head clean, we have our primary chart tab. The primary chart is going to show you how your printer uh, produces raw color without any software influence. So this is really good if you're having like missing nozzles, of course, and then banding, which is just lying through your prints or color issues. Um, also, our care team would ask you for this. If you were to reach out to us and create a ticket, uh, we would ask you for a picture of this nozzle check and, and of your primary chart. Uh, so we can see how your color is your printer is producing color. And of course you just hit the print button here. And then next to primary chart we have our full page bleeds. This is a deeper look into your uh, ink channels. Uh, typically you're going to print these if you reach out to us for like color issues and we would ask you for that so we can uh, see a full page bleed of that specific color channel. Again you can print this on copy paper. You don't really need to print these on your own. Um, we would just ask you to do that for like a deeper look into everything. And then our last tab here is the file spooler. And this is also good for troubleshooting. Uh, say you have a color issue with a file. We would ask you for that file as a PRN. And that allows us to have the same color settings that you have. Everything's gonna be saved into that file. We would take that file and then spool it here uh, to see if we get the same uh, output as you. And then we would continue on with further troubleshooting steps to help you resolve that color issue. So that's all of the features of the printer utilities. Again, it's a great place for like basic troubleshooting um, steps to take. Uh, so, you know, you can do some of these things on your own, but also remember that you can always create a ticket with us with our care team uh, at care.sawgrassinc.com and we'll be more than happy to help you further.